No, 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 no. This is all just a misunderstanding. Hey, you have to let me out of here. Please, I have to go to court with my lawyer today. Let me out of here, please. Listen, I'm just doing my job. Psych! <coughs> you, can't, you can't leave yet, so get back in there. So, where's your client? You know if she doesn't show up, you'll lose, right? <laughs> She'll be here. She'll be here. Guys, where did Mom go today? Uh, she got in trouble. She's at the Bloxburg Jail. She is? We have to go and get her out of there. Don't worry. It's all just a big misunderstanding. Frank, where's your client? Oh, uh, Your Honor, uh, my, my client is just running a little bit late. Here, let me go look for her. No, get back here. Uh, look, look, can, can we please just uh, wait a few minutes? I know she's going to be here, okay? She knows how important this is. She's going to just show up at any moment now. Look, we're just going to be standing here and boom, she's going to pop in. So please, Your Honor, please. Listen, Frank, I have a lot of cases to preside over. And if you think I can waste time waiting, I can't. You've got 10 minutes. Okay, thank you so much, Your Honor. Don't worry, I'll get to the bottom of this. I'm sure, I'm sure she's gonna be here. Yeah, she better be here, because if she's not, you know what's gonna happen. You are gonna lose. Okay, okay, I, I got it, I totally understand. All right, oh my goodness. <laughs> Your Honor, his client isn't here right now. Can we please start the proceedings? I've decided to give him a few minutes. Your Honor! <laughs> what? This is so unprofessional. This is my courtroom. I make the rules. Let me out of here. Seriously. Fine. I get one phone call, right? Let me get my phone call right now. Uh, alright. Fine. You do get a phone call. So just come on and uh, follow me downstairs and you can talk to the manager. Yeah, that's right. Let me talk to her. She is just oh, so out of line. All right, where's your client? I don't see your client here. I'm looking and she's not here yet, so we're just gonna have to get started. Wait, Your Honor, Your Honor, please. No. First up, call your witness. Okay, this is my courtroom. I make all the rules here. And if your client is not here, you will have to just figure it out because I am not going to wait. Got it? Yes, Your Honor, I got it. All right, everyone take your seats, get your witnesses ready, and uh, you better hope she arrives, Frank, otherwise you'll lose this case. Because without her testimony, we have to believe the town. Oh, man. So wait, what did she say exactly? And how do you know where she said? Well, I visited her at the jail. I want to go, too. No, we can't. The lady kicked us out and said we'll get in trouble if we go back there. Oh my goodness, why isn't she here? She knows how important this is. We need her testimony. Hi, Frank. So, <laughs> just came over here to let you know that we're definitely going to win. Your client isn't here, and <laughs> that's what you get. What's your problem? Why are you so rude? Um, hello, I'm representing the town, so obviously I'm rude and mean just like the town. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just doing my job. Well, go do your job over there. You don't have to stand near me and rub it in my face. Besides, huh, I'm a good lawyer. I don't need her to be here to win this. Yes, you do. You need her testimony. I have tons of witnesses on the town side saying they can attest to the fact that the girls misbehaved, they broke all the rules, they caused a lot of damage to the town. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is not good. She's right. If they did do a lot of damage to the town and those people can attest to it, they might lose the case. We really need the mom here to tell her side. Hey, look, please, can, can you please just, uh, you know, reschedule this for another day? We can both agree to the day, all right? Whatever works for the town works for us. No. Oh, my goodness. Is anyone here going to be able to testify for the family? No. Ew, no. Absolutely not. Well, come on now. This town kicked a family out of their home, and you guys are gonna side with them? Listen, we're just here to tell the truth. You know, we're just here to tell the truth. We're here to tell them about what we experienced living next to those kids. Well, you know, you giving that testimony will make sure that this family remains poor. Do you want that? 
We don't really care. Okay, let me get my phone call. I need to, wait, but who do I call? Do I call my lawyer? You, let me out of here. You know I did nothing wrong. Um, you trespass. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You were kicked out of this town. We told you not to come back. And what did you do? You came back again and again and again. <laughs> so enjoy your time here. I have to get to court. Just let me out of here. When the judge finds out about this, you're going to be in so much trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep talking about how much trouble I'm going to be in, but... Oh, look around. I'm not in any trouble. The only person in trouble here is you. Now make your phone call and get it back upstairs. Or else you won't get a phone call at all. Hey, so uh, you're the first witness. Go up there and I'll, I can ask you some questions. We both will be asking you questions. Please just reschedule this. No, stop asking me, Frank. You're going down. Mm-hmm. So let me just prepare my notes. Let me get my questions ready. All right, <laughs> let's get up there. Hello, please state your name for the court. My name is JV. All right, JV. So were you living in the town of Unicorn City while the family was there? Yes, yes I was. And did the kids bother you and break rules and damage property and skip school? Yes. Oh man. I don't think mom's gonna be coming home anytime soon. You said it was just a misunderstanding, but the fact that she's not here right now says otherwise. We have to come up with a plan to get her out of there. No! All right, so you say that the kids damaged property and broke rules, but do you have any proof? Yes, I have video footage from my security camera outside of my house. Oh. Okay, well, um, but other than the damage that they caused to the city, did they seem like a nice family? No, they didn't. I'm done here. Oh my goodness, this is not going well for me. Frank, pick up the phone, pick up the phone. He didn't answer. Oh my goodness, I'm just gonna make one more call. No, get back to your cell. You made your one phone call already. But this is serious, I need one more phone call. No. Get back upstairs right now before I have you escorted up there. This is just, you know what? I'm done playing by the rules. Oh my goodness. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Maybe we should have gone to the, the court place. We can't go there, especially not dressed like this. Oh my goodness, that was terrible. Your Honor, please, please don't make your decision yet. Please just give us another day. We need one more day. Ugh, Your Honor, sorry it took me so long. They don't need any more days. We heard the witness testimony. I showed you all the evidence, and he brought absolutely nothing here. He wasted your time, Your Honor. Stop it. Why are you doing this? I'm doing my job, so just chill. Your Honor, please make your decision. Please make your ruling. Well, she is actually right, Frank. Your client did not show up today. You had no witnesses on their behalf. I've seen... Lots of evidence pointing to the fact that the family broke all of the rules in their agreement. They disturbed all the neighbors. They destroyed property. They didn't behave at the school. It's just so, so much stacked against them. So I'm not sure that you actually have a claim towards the city. But Your Honor, their money their house, their belongings. How, how could they just do that? That's not right. Yes, Frank, I understand, but you didn't show me any evidence that they actually did that. You didn't even bring the woman who claims that this happened to her. How am I supposed to make a fair decision? Your Honor, please, please, you have to believe me. Listen, Frank, I'll give you one more chance. Get her here tomorrow. Oh man, you know what? I have a plan, guys. We're gonna make sure we get our clothes back, we're gonna get mom out of there, and we're gonna show up to that court place. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Click to watch more videos and subscribe.